So from going from this stage at a young age, where did you go to next? Um, so after like the school plays and stuff like that, um, I took it a step further and I started taking acting classes in my high school. And that's when it really became a thing. That's when it became evident to me that this was probably something that I would want to try. I still wasn't for sure if I would try to make a career out of it, but it was something that I was willing to go fully forward with. And it was a big deal in high school because high school is kind of like where you're trying to be cool, where you are, you know, you're liking boys and boys are liking you, everybody's partying. And I went to a predominantly white school. So, but I was like, token black kid, boys and girls club kid, and here I am going to the theater classes. So that's when I really started to become well-rounded because it's like I would be with all my friends who were not into any of that, but then I'd like chuck the deuces and go to my theater class, which would have all these like theater geeks and super studious kids. And people used to be like, that's Dot, you know, like they just accepted it that I was so confident in just doing my own thing, but being able to do both, being able to be with the theater kids, but also come kick it with y'all at the kickback and, you know, with my academic genes and, you know, twerk something. Was, was there, growing up in a predominantly white school, being that token black actress at this young age, was it ever times that they tried to box you in or try to put you in like, this is what you're going to do because this is what, you know? Absolutely. I mean, and I don't fault any of them for it because they didn't know any better. There were a lot of times there were certain characters that they would want me to play, or if there was a character, they'd want me to play it a certain way, which would be the stereotypical black way. Um, also, I always felt like I would get a lot more accolades than everybody else because I was black. So I got a lot of awards for Outstanding Actress and this and that. Um, but you know what? It boosted my confidence and it made me stay committed to it. But when I later on went to Howard and I was amongst the best of the best, I didn't stand out as much anymore. And that was kind of hard for me. And that's when I realized, like, I was good, but I wasn't good good. They were giving me praise because I was good for a black girl. Obviously, you said you transitioned to Howard and you felt like I'm not as good as I thought I was. How was that emotionally when you went there and was like, wait a minute? I am not that as was good so as hard. I thought I was. Yeah, that was so hard. I think my freshman year, I like didn't want to act anymore mm -hmm. because it was the first time that I wasn't receiving all praises. That was the first time I was getting honestly critiqued. That was the first time that I saw people that were for real better than me. And I also was just surrounded by people who all came from a place where they, they were at the top. So I'm in a room surrounded by greatness, and I just felt intimidated. Mm -hmm. How did you overcome that emotion of feeling intimidated? That's a that's a hard thing, because usually people quit. Oh man, I, 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 got, I got very close. I, I think I had to first realize what it was, and I also had to, you know, learn to love Howard, because that's what it was. It's a place that's gonna humble you, and it's gonna make you, or it's, or it's gonna break you. Mm -hmm. And I knew that one of the main reasons I wanted to go to Howard and, you know, pursue acting was that almost every actress that has left there has really gone and done great things. And I just had to tell myself, this is why they've gone and done great things. They've been able to humble themselves, take the lessons and learn. And I just had to tell myself, if you want greatness, you're going to have to you're gonna have to work for it. So I think sophomore year, I really started to like come into myself and say, okay, I, I have room to grow. I can get better. Cause who wants to go to a school and you're already the best and you leave and you haven't changed anything you've done, you haven't grown. And now you're the same person you were when you came. That's a waste of four years. So I just had to open my mind and I had to cry sometimes and I had to call my mom a lot. And I just had to thug it out. They were tough. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.